Welcome! Creating your first survey in Survey2Go is very easy. In this guide, I'm going to walk you through creating a simple survey, downloading and synchronizing it to the device, collecting the data, and uploading it, and downloading the data for exporting. Let's get started. So, to create a new survey, the only thing you need to do is just go up here to the New Menu, um, click on the menu, select New Survey, and this, this will launch up the new survey project wizard. Now you'll soon see that every project has to be filed under a customer and you can create a new customer or select any one of the existing customers and I'm going to select the demo customer and click on next. Now I need to either create a new project or say that I want to create a survey in an existing one and I'll choose the existing project and I'll say it's project smokers. Lastly, I need to give it a name and I'm going to call it color survey. And I'll click on next and finish to actually go ahead and create the survey. And as soon as I do that, the survey opens up and if you pull out the management tree again, because the management tree automatically collapses, you can click right here to pull up the management tree again. You'll see that the survey was placed under my customers and projects demo customer under my project smokers and it's right there in my drafts. So I'm going to hide the management tree again. And then now I'm going to just simply add the two questions of my survey. First question is what is my name? So I'm going to uh, stay in on the root chapter, click on question, click on new and select any one of our uh, um, available question types. In this case, I'm going to choose open ended and the question name will be what is your name? And then I'm going to add another question, which is going to be a single choice. And this one will ask about colors. Which color is your favorite color? And the answers I'm going to just add red, green, and blue. And that will do it for now. Or you know what? Let's add white as well. So next, I'm going to save the survey by clicking on the save icon. And after it is saved, I'm going to give it a quick test using our emulator because you don't need an actual device in order to test your surveys. You can do it right here from the emulator, which you can start by clicking on this run button. But even before that, you can actually see the actual question appearing right here in the preview pane. If I make it slightly bigger, you can see you can choose whether you want it to show in the five inch form factor, seven inch tablet, um, nine inch tablet, and you can even decide to have it portrait or landscape. And this is just for previewing purposes. So this does not, um, this is, is not a live survey. It's just a preview, but you can click on the run an emulator button to pull up the uh, survey emulator and have the survey run completely on your tablet or on your laptop without the need for a device. So let's give it a test. What's your name? I'm going to say Ofer. And then what's which is your favorite color? I'm going to say green. But now it's done. So the survey is working great. I just want to make a quick modification. And that is in the name question, I want to go to the answers tab. And instead of multi line, I'm going to switch it over to single line. And I'll switch back to my emulator. It tells me there was a change. I'm going to click yes to reload it. And then immediately it starts off a, a new survey. And in this case, what is your name now appears with only one line. So this looks great. I'm going to save my survey and hop on to the next stage. So my next step is to download and synchronize this survey to the devices. And to do that, I need to first move the mode of the survey from draft, which means it stays on the server, it does not download to the devices, to either test or production mode. So in my case, I'm going to switch it over to production mode. The difference between the two is that in test mode, you can actually upload as many interviews and it does not count towards your balance. So it's a great way of testing things out. In my case, I'm going to go strictly directly into production mode and um, download it to the device. All right. Well, for which interviewer or which tablets do we want the survey to download to? 
That's a great question. Now by default, the person that created the project or the survey is the one who's gonna automatically get the survey downloaded to his or her device. So in cases that this is you, no problem. But what if you want to assign the survey to a different group of people, whether one interviewer or a couple of them? Well, it's very easy. You just bring up the management tree again and for each project, you'll see there is a node called surveyors. And if you expand this node, it will list the specific interviewers that are part of this project. In my case, it's Spart, Jim, John, Mark, and Paul. And all of them will get this survey downloaded as soon as it's either in test mode or production mode. And if I want to assign the survey to someone else, I just right click on the surveyors node, click on write, click on add surveyor, choose from my list of surveyors or create a new one. So in our case, I'm going to choose Jim and I'm logged in as Mark. Um, so Jim will be my interviewer and let's switch over to his device. Well, I have a app called Blue um, Snap or sorry, BlueStacks here. And BlueStacks is an Android emulator that runs on your PC. And I'm going to use that to demo the actual tablet. So this is an actual Android device running on my PC. And this is how the survey to go app looks on the tablet and to, by the way, if you need to install this app, could just go to the app store, um, search for survey to go install it and you're good to go. I'm going to plug in my username, which is the gym. And then of course, also the organization, which is the one I'm using. I don't have a password in this case. I'm just going to click on login. And as soon as I log in, you'll see that the color survey has synchronized to my device. And I'm going to tap it to actually load it up. I'm going to click on run to start an interview. All right. What's your name? I'm going to say, um, Jim in this case, click on next, which color is your favorite color? So I'm going to say blue in this case, and now the interview is complete. And if you were quick, you might've been able to see that it for a brief moment appeared here as a line in the conducted interviews list and immediately it was uploaded. Now this is the case when the tablet has a network connectivity. If the tablet is offline, the data simply remains on the tablet until there's a network connectivity, and then it's automatically uploaded as soon there, as there is a network connection. But it's perfectly fine to do the entire data collection while being offline. Now the interviewer always can switch to the six weeks history tab which shows them exactly what they did. So even if the, the interview was uploaded, they can see, I can still see that today uh, I completed one interview and uploaded one. So the interviewer never loses control. Back to the studio. Now it's time to actually take a look at the data. Every project has a node called operations. And if you double click that node, it will open up a new screen. And if you click on get, it will bring up a list of all the interviews that were done in this specific project. Now I have a bunch of different demo servers running in this project. So I'm going to just include the active surveys and get the data again. And now we're going to see only the surveys that was, that were part of the color survey. And you can see it under the survey name right here. And I see two interviews. Now this is interesting because you only did one interview. Well, in fact, we also did the interview during the emulator, which also uploads the data and you can turn it off if you prefer. Now you can see that the interviewer that did it was Jim and let's double click on this grid to open up the interview that we just did in the field. The review screen comes up and you can see a bunch of information about the actual interview, what was conducted, etc. And you can also see the actual answers to the different questions. And this is how QC is performed by the way. And we have a separate session based on QC and you can learn a lot more than, uh, on this specific topic, search for, um, QC in our, uh, support help center site. Our final step is to actually export the data. And for that, I'm going to double click the collected data node, which is a part of every project. So for each project, we have the collected data node. I'll double click on that. I'll select our color survey and click on export. Then the next, the export wizard comes up and you just click on next. 
select the various from the various export format we fully support SPSS uh, data collection which is uh, dimensions access Excel word quantum SPSS triple S and XML now in this demo I'm going to use Excel I'm going to click on next then you have a bunch of options to choose which columns are exported and a bunch of other options. And I'm going to um, select that I want to export everything. I'll click on next, give it a general file name and click on finish. Lastly, we want to open up the actual export file and see how the data looks like in Excel. Well, every row here represents an actual interview that was performed and every column represents a different data piece. And the first um, bunch of variables are the ones that are automatically collected by survey to go, including the duration, um, the lat long GPS locations, etc. And the actual data is right at the end. We can see Q1 and Q2. This is the data that we've collected. The first interview uh, the answer to the um, name qu question was Ofer, the second one was Jim, and then we chose two and three, the corresponding um, indexes of the answers. And by the way, if you prefer to export the answers and not the codes, this is actually very easy to do by going back to the survey and in the actual questions, if you go over to um, the, the variables tab, you can tick this export answers as text box and this will export the actual name instead of the code. So instead of one, two, three, four, you'll get red, green, blue, and white. So a quick summary of what we did. We created a new survey. We put in the questions. We saved it. We tested it, downloaded it to the device, uploaded the data and reviewed it, then exported the data. So the entire cycle in just a couple of minutes. This is how easy it is to do it in survey to go And finally, if you need any help about anything with survey to go feel free to visit our support site at support.doogle.net. You can search our support forums for everything or submit a support ticket right here and our support team will stand by to answer any of your question. Thank you so much and good luck with your project.